Natsuo, a high school student, has a crush on his teacher, Hina. He wants to forget about his feelings, so he joins his friends on a group date and meets a shy girl named Rui Tachibana. They don't care about the date, so they leave together. She invites Natsuo to her home and then asks him to sleep with her, but she doesn't have any romantic feelings for him. Later, Natsuo's father, who is a widower, tells Natsuo that he is going to marry again, and Natsuo discovers that his new stepsisters are Hina and Rui. After the wedding, they move to a new house together. When everyone is going to sleep, Natsuo tries to kiss Hina while she is asleep, but Rui interrupts him. Rui pulls Hina to her room after witnessing Natsuo's attempt to kiss her. The next day, Natsuo sees that Rui has joined his school, they agree to act like strangers. Natsuo sees Hina crying on the school roof. At lunch, Natsuo helps Rui make friends by pretending to have an argument which shows their classmates Rui's personality. Later at home, Natsuo tries to get Hina to talk about her boyfriend, but they are interrupted. Natsuo is unhappy about Hina's boyfriend, and his best friend Fumiya supports him. He tells Hina to dump her boyfriend, but kisses her instead. Hina hits his face, then kisses him back and pushes him onto her bed. After seeing his shocked expression, she says that he is still a kid and should not meddle in her life. The next day, Natsuo leaves the house to stay with Fumiya, making the household sad. Rui finds him at Fumiya's house and, after talking about how to end Hina's relationship, they go back home. Natsuo and Rui follow Hina, but can't find her boyfriend. They take Hina's phone, planning for Rui to pretend to be Hina and break up, but she is too scared to talk to the stranger. While they think about what to do next at the restaurant where Fumiya works, Hina and her boyfriend Sho come in. Natsuo fights with Sho until Rui splashes water on Sho's face and runs away. Natsuo chases her, and later Hina tells Sho that they should stay away from each other for a while. The next day, Natsuo goes to his mother's grave. Rui and Hina follow him, with Hina saying that her relationship is over. They then pray at the grave together, introducing themselves as Natsuo's new sisters. Rui makes friends with Momo Kashiwabara, who is known for dating many boys. They run into Natsuo while shopping, and he saves Momo from being hit by a bike. Momo later asks Rui if she can like him. Momo flirts with Natsuo at school, but he goes home to take care of Rui, who said she was ill, and Rui tells him that Momo likes him. The next day at lunchtime, Momo kisses Natsuo on the cheek to make him happy. Later, Momo invites him to her house where they kiss in her room. He sees scars on her wrist, which she tells him to forget. Natsuo makes Yaki Udon for her, telling her that she can call him whenever she feels lonely. She starts to cry, telling him how none of the boys that she dated treated her like he does. She asks him if they are dating, but he says that maybe neither of them should date people they depend on emotionally. Rui wants Natsuo to help her find a club. They find the literature club, where Natsuo takes a book by his favorite author, Yuhasukawa, though Rui tells him not to steal. When he brings it back the next day, he is caught by teacher Raijai Kiriya who says he will report him if he doesn't join the club. When Kiriya finds out that Natsuo and Mu Ashihara, the only other club member, both like romance novels, he tries to make them kiss, Natsuo stops when he sees tears in Ashihara's eyes. The next day, they start writing notes in the library, becoming friends. Momo and Rui later join the club. On the weekend, Hina asks Natsuo if they can go out. Natsuo and Hina are mistaken for a couple at a restaurant. They have a conversation on a beach where Natsuo expresses his curiosity about Hina's affair with Sho. A flashback depicts Hina's high school days with Sho. Later, Natsuo informs Hina about completing his novel and also confesses his love for her. Unexpectedly, Hina asks Natsuo if they can go out. They both walk into the water, and she explains that this act would resemble a double suicide, risking everything. Returning home, Hina reads Natsuo's novel. The subsequent night, Natsuo glimpses into Hina's room and observes her masturbating while uttering Sho's name. Startled, he accidentally makes a noise, drops a book, and conceals himself behind the stairs. The next morning, Hina greets Natsuo, suggesting he should wake up earlier. As she departs, she waves, leaving Natsuo feeling embarrassed as he notices his own hand.
Natsuo and his schoolmate Alex apprehend a thief who had stolen Rui's underwear. Alex becomes intrigued by Rui, but when Natsuo introduces them, Rui departs angrily. To make amends, Natsuo prepares a meal for Rui, and her forgiveness is sealed with a kiss. Witnessing this, Hina becomes distressed, and Rui opens up to her about her genuine emotions. In response, Hina decides it's best to move out. During a family trip to a shrine, Natsuo attempts to converse with Hina. Initially evasive, Hina eventually confesses her true feelings and explains that staying would only lead to her inability to restrain herself. They clasp hands while walking back home. Rui encounters Sho at a bookstore and he treats her to a meal as an apology for the trouble he caused. He discloses that he is now divorced but deems it selfish to reconcile with Hina. After Hina moves out, she leaves Natsuo a key to her apartment. At a later time, Rui discovers Natsuo gazing out of the window in Hina's former room and embraces him. Natsuo visits Hina's apartment and observes her sleeping. Upon waking, he expresses his readiness to share his life with her. A kiss follows, though Hina halts Natsuo's attempt to escalate things emphasizing the need to take their time. The subsequent day at school, she admits her reciprocal feelings, and they share a kiss. Natsuo frequents Hina's apartment as their relationship develops. The members of the literature club visit their absent teacher Kiria and discover, while at his apartment, that their club supervisor is the novelist Yuhasukawa, someone Natsuo admires. Natsuo fractures his leg, and Rui tends to his needs, including bathing him. Despite this, he conceals his secret visits to Hina from her. Upset by his deception, Rui reads Natsuo's novel and comprehends his affection for Hina. She confronts him while at Hina's apartment and hastily departs upon spotting them together. Natsuo locates her and decides to be open about everything. Natsuo discloses his relationship with Hina to Rui, leading Rui to avoid them when they're not at home. Rui challenges Hina, who expresses regret over her involvement with Natsuo and proposes a breakup. Understanding Hina's emotions, Rui intervenes, and the two sisters reconcile. During a beach vacation in Okinawa, second-year students embark, and their Natsuo purchases a souvenir ring for Hina. Sneaking into her hotel room to give her the ring, Natsuo is met with Hina's attempt to end the relationship. He objects and places the ring on her finger. They enjoy a fireworks display from her window, and in a first, Natsuo calls Hina by her name and proposes a future marriage. Following this, they share intimacy and openly discuss their feelings. Upon returning to school, Hina is summoned by the principal and shown a photograph, capturing her kiss with Natsuo at the hotel window. The principal confronts Hina over her relationship with Natsuo. Hina announces that she is being transferred to a distant school. Natsuo and Rui are unable to contact Hina. A letter in Hina's empty apartment explains to Natsuo that she requested the transfer in exchange for the school's silence and to help Natsuo move on. Natsuo falls into a depression, until members of the literature club encourage him, and he pours his heart into a new novel. On New Year's Day, Natsuo and the club take it to Kiria. Later, Natsuo is abducted to a ceremony where his novel, entered into a contest by Kiria, has won first prize. Natsuo returns home and is surprised when he thinks he sees Hina, rushing to hug her and tell her the news, it is actually Rui in a wig, and she rushes to her room in tears. Natsuo and Rui discuss his feelings for Hina, and he admits to having sex with her. Rui then kisses Natsuo and says she won't hold back anymore. Elsewhere, two schoolgirls discuss Hina's hair, which is now short. Hina looks to the distance and smiles as the resolution in Natsuo's second novel, entitled Well, See You. I hope you liked the recap, if so, don't forget to subscribe and like it.